Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Ethaldu and yes, today I'm going to start working on something brand new. As you can see, I'm here at the wall that you might know from previous videos and we've added the gate which runs all the way through the wall to the other side which is basically the north of the map and as you can see there in the distance we're working on something on a lake that wasn't there before and we can see someone here over at this uh, yes this little house on these docks and this is Danny is uh, he's a new Biofrost team member and he's the one that came up with the idea to try and build something like the lake town from the Hobbit isn't that right yeah that's right uh, I will introduce myself yeah my name is yeah. Danny SCT and I'm also Dutch yeah so yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything that you need to know and yes today we are just gonna show you uh, basically the beginning of Lake Town because uh, yes Danny has made the docks uh, that you will start on probably and now this is gonna be basically the entrance to Lake Town isn't that right? Yep this is the control post about uh, you, you can enter the ships uh, you, you can enter the the city to use a ship and this is the city gate yes you're right okay uh, let's go through some of these wool colors that we see here so that we know a bit about what we have in store before we start actually building something um, these red lines are for um, the, the, the red lines are um, um, for the houses okay for uh, houses okay and yeah and Richter. Um, I can see some yeah, signs see some here. Signs oh, this uh, yellow thing is going to be the council. Yep, it is. Basically, the center Basically. of the town. Oh, that's nice. And this is going to be the pack, uh, packing area, the storage. That that's, uh, of course, convenient because basically this is going to be some kind of trade post. Weaponry that's useful as well to defend themselves. And then what do we have here? guard towers to protect themselves and let me just fly through this but I will take a night potion so that you can actually see something um, because this lake would be quite useless as a trading post without this uh, this cave basically leads all the way to the sea and yeah you can see some bugs but that's just John Smith um, Wait, let me just turn off the... Uh, if I turn off connect textures, I think that it should be fine, but I can't find them. No, never mind. Um, yeah, hopefully in the next update those bugs will be gone. But this cave is pretty cool with the... Uh, yes, with all the details we've added on the water. Uh, basically thanks to uh, Ronnie, who is also a new builder. Um, and this is basically going to be the gate to the sea, which is going to have a little trading post in the middle, a control post. Um, basically, the same as we're going to build on the other side is going to be inside of the cave, so that nobody enters this uh, town without permission. Um, yes, yeah, so let's just start with the building. I think we're just going to start working on this gate a little bit more. Yep. Um, so do you have any idea of what you want this to look like yeah it's uh, it's gonna be two towers yeah with a docking yeah. station for the ships where they can enter and it's also a watchtower so unknown ships can uh, be seen in far distance so this is more the protective side of the city yeah, okay, if for instance, if uh, somebody would attack from this side, make a little boat here um, and start to sail towards the city, they would know that they're enemies. And of course, if we make the same thing in the cave, uh, that would be for attackers from the outside, because that's the entrance for most of the ships, I think. Um, okay, so first we're gonna use some cobblestone, I guess, to make little borders around this 
Yeah, um, yep, um, for uh, mod detail. Yeah, it looks a lo lot better this I'm just way. I'm going to extend this platform a little bit and then I'm just going to maybe add a little house to the tower or something like that. Because I think it will look better if we add the command posts um, as part of the tower. Yeah, that's a good plan. Sorry for my bad English, but I'm a bit nervous. I have, I have never uh, done this before on YouTube, so... Well, I'm my so apologize. Well, I'm not sure th they will forgive you. As long as we make something that is awesome. <laughs> I will try my best. Okay, I don't want it to be too big, because I don't think that would be very realistic. Um, so yes, let's just... So I have actually not built in this style at all. Um, Danny did make some designs on our building server. Uh, which were really looking very good. So if we can have the same atmosphere as those designs had, then I think this town is gonna be pretty nice. I think some people will recognize it as a town in the new movie The Hobbit. That's the idea. And um, yeah, yeah. I hope uh, it will look good to you all. Yeah, we're gonna make, we're gonna do our best to make it look. <laughs> yeah, but I think we need to change the layer of our entire house a little bit. Yeah. I do want uh, a window here. Maybe a little higher so that we can actually look through it. And from there we should basically just plan out the rest of the house. I think I think this corner uh made it quite crowdy. So what I'm going to do instead is make sure that it is like this. And what about this? Is this good? Yeah, that's yeah, better. Yeah, that's that's easier that's to easy. work with, I guess. And... I think just add it... Like, like this, maybe? Yeah. Because then, yeah. we, can then just, we can just... Uh, kind of replicate what you wanted to do on this side, but only on the other side we... Just kind of connect it to the tower. the tower. The tower instead, or maybe make it one lower so that it works on both sides. I think this will work. Yeah, this much better. Um, so yes. The roof still is going to be tricky, but I guess we can make it work. Um, the only bad thing about this tower is that you can't actually stand in it. You have just have to press shift on the ladder and that's the only way basically to look out of the windows. Yeah. But yeah, that that that's the problem with small. Yeah, things. with these yeah. with this small yeah. design. Well, doesn't really matter that much. Um, something like this, I suppose. Okay, I'm just gonna try and. At the side, I think that you made a pretty curvy side on the other house, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and start with that on this side. Then I'm doing something useful. Um. Because I think I think this is a pretty tricky style because it's all very random it's not really that it's uh, one way to one do way. it it's just all random every roof should be different
different. Yeah, it isn't really one style. It's more yeah. We just use this yeah, block just and block. try to make a roof. Improvise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know a very cool thing. We maybe we can just add uh, connect the tower to the second floor a little bit. Yeah. I think I think we can make that work. Because if you add the roof up here this high, then we can just integrate it into it. Um, something like that. Um, I'm just going to show them the initial designs that you made without showing the crazy stuff that is next to it. Okay, wait, uh, should I come? No, 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 you no, can just no, continue yeah. a little bit, but I'm just gonna show them what the first house design looked like. I do like the random chimney into it. Um, maybe we should add that because it would be logical that the guards have a place to warm up um, in this cold setting that they're in. Um, I do really like the way it looks. So yeah, it's it's really random, but I do really like the way it turns out once it's completed. So let me just go and back. And yes, there I am. So I'm just gonna try and m come up with an end piece myself here. An end piece for this wall design. Uh, roof design, not wall. Um, um, I do, oops, I do think that this is better. Hmm. Maybe we do need this. And then we need that. Um, something like this. Um, well we could even do this. The, the roof is really random. As long as long as, yeah. as long as it looks good, I think we did a good job. But it is quite hard to get it right at, at once. Something like this. I do think this still looks good. This roof is a bit tricky. I mean, those cobblestone, it's it's hard to make. Yeah, it's really about just keep on trying and different ways to kind of make it work. I don't know, maybe something like this. Um, I do think that this side is coming together like something that is looking like a nice roof. It at least it really has a curve into it. Um, maybe this should just be a little bit lower. Um, something like... Oh, we can't. Something like this, maybe. Um, okay, I think I am happy with the way it looks on this side. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, my side isn't that good. Uh, I think, no. I don't like it. I think it's too much stone. Mm. Yeah, it is. Let me try to... Because uh, this is what I saw on the 
uh, on the initial design. Uh, yes, I think that's better. Maybe we could add a little bit more of a curve into this side as well, because I think that is what gives the build uh, its character. That is really these kind of um, yeah, the kind of curves, or at least the suggestion that there is a curve in the roof. Um, let's see, can we make this? Um, yeah, okay, this should definitely be like this. And maybe this could be just a little bit lower. And I think that this is starting to look a little bit better. Yeah, it is. Um, mm -hmm. But now to have this part as well, um, it's quite hard. This style, it's it's not a style that really you can just nail it. You really have to work on it a little bit longer and just make sure that you actually get the right thing. Okay, I think this is what we want. Okay, um, so now yeah, just so basically just round just it off. Round it. Um, maybe we could add... That's the good thing about these turning stairs, that you can add a little bit more round-like shapes. Um, but I do think that the roof starts to take a better shape. I quite like the way that it is really a random roof. If you look uh, at it from from yeah, just from above, you just you really see the random shape, but it, it does look good. Eventually, take some time, but we end up with something that's worth it. Okay, um, what kind of materials? did we use for um, walls and such? Um, yeah, I use um, a different texture pack. I'm, I'm using um, John, Smith. John Smith. Yeah, John Smith, yes. Um, in default it is light grey wool. Okay, um, I'm just gonna add kind of a chimney design here, I guess. Because that was some one of the features that I really wanted to have returned in this design so I'm just gonna try and make that have a fabulous return here um, okay I'm just gonna focus on the inside a bit more Um, because it had a quite nice design also on the inside. It was something with a furnace, and I think it was I a hopper or, or, or something. Yeah, it is. So uh, I think you, I did, think this. you did this, and then the rest, yeah. Wait, um, I will come. Yeah, that was it. Yep. Okay. okay. Well, well, then I did get the general gesture for it. Um, but I do think that yours wasn't really that straight. It f really felt like it was, um, yeah, a bit more random. I don't know. Just I'm, I'm just. Yeah, but it is a different house, eh? Yeah, but yeah. I just wanted yeah. to make a little curve here, and I think that worked on the outside. So, uh, what other materials did you use for walls on the uh, ground layer? Stairs. Sta oh, um, oh, uh, stairs. Oh, stairs for windows. Okay, so. Okay, now this is looking weird. Uh, 
Um, oh yeah, this is strange. Okay, we really have a random chimney, but I think that's quite good. And uh, random is always good. I just want to put that in there. Okay, now for the walls around the chimney. You said wool, or was that only on the yeah, upper floor? Upper floor. This one. Look. Oh yeah. Okay. The the, the wool. Okay. Now only that one, or combine it with the white wool. No, only that one. With um, let me show you. Um, this and this. And you have to see it on the outside. Yeah. Okay. So that's for the windows and for a normal wall. You do this. That's a good question. <laughs> Maybe we should just come up with some different walls. We could just use a little bit of uh, wood, I suppose. Um, yeah, yeah, random wood. It will be nice. Just randomize the wood. Um, for the tower, I'm just gonna implement this. Um, but here I want definitely a window. Um, as for the second layer, I do think that this time around the house turned out to be way better than our initial design. Yeah, really. Because this time we can actually make it work. Um, ooh, if we want that to happen. Okay, so let me just see. I want slabs to make the floor. You want to be standing here so that you can look around. And on this side, what do we want? Like this and like... Um, maybe we could add a torch, something like this, and or maybe we could randomize it a little bit more. I'm just gonna randomize the hell out of this place. And so, yep. Oh, that's bad. Um, you should come outside. I want to show you something. Okay, um, let's see, where are you, on which side? Behind you, okay. behind you, okay. yeah, yeah. Isn't that good? Oh, with the jungle oh, wood. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> if we um, not only use jungle wood, but just try to randomize it a bit more. So that it looks like the, the weather actually affected it. So just use all kind of kinds of wood. Except the uh, spruce wood, because that's the roof, of course. But I think we should just use these other three types of wood for for the for the uh, walls, because and maybe even mix in some um, some stairs like this, you know. Well, sorry. I'm I'm still on the same side. So in uh, not only add random wood, but also add random uh, stairs, so that it looks yeah. like uh, a bit just got missing. I think yeah, for more detail. Yeah, so that yeah, you have more detail on the walls and such, so that we don't just end up with 
this boring place, but I don't believe that this house is going to be boring at all.